experience right off the bat, but looking forward to some practice time as well after this matchup today. South Carolina, five home matches this year at the Carolina Volleyball Center. They've always been good at home. They always draw a big crowd. You can see some orange and blue up in the stands across the way as well as Florida always travels well to Columbia. It'll be the Gators to serve to get things going. Trinity Adams, a junior from Radford, Virginia, will have our first serve. And after a 23-minute delay, we're underway. They look to the middle right away in an early kill. Abianati gets the first point for South Carolina. And when you start with a clean first contact, you're going to see that they're able to run outsides, middles, whatever they want to do. Lauren McCutcheon did not play against Ole Miss last time out. She's on to serve on the early going here for South Carolina. And the Gamecocks have the first two points of this match. There is Lauren, all freshman team a couple of years ago. Hasn't played in the last two matches as South Carolina looking for the right combination of players to find some offense. And usually you can find some offense when you feed it to Kennedy Martin. You sure can. She goes up, she has a high swing. She's one of the tallest players out there, and she can really get on top of that ball and bring the, brings the heat. 3.9 kills per set. That's number one on the team and sixth in the SEC. Ellie McKissick, veteran Libero with the serve. Once again, they work the middle, and once again, it's a naughty for South Carolina. Well, I like that South Carolina is establishing these middles off the bat because Florida has a strong, aggressive block, and this way you can spread their block and try to get one-on-ones. Here's the junior Libro for South Carolina. Morgan Carter. <laughs> Unable to save it, point for Florida. Kennedy Martin off to a great start, back-to-back -back kills. Again, working on that set with Kennedy Muff, used to having Alexis Stuckey. Martin's got a good serve, 17 aces on the season. Point for South Carolina. Looks like Florida in the net on that one, a little too aggressive on the block going up. But as you can see, South Carolina attacking every single ball. Freshman Sidney Floyd comes on to serve for the Gamecocks. South Carolina on a scramble, a little miscommunication. And the point goes to the Gators. When you take a look at the matchup here today, as you take a look at that last point, Florida last played on Wednesday against A&M in that five-setter. South Carolina last played on Friday on the road in a five-setter in Oxford. So very little turnaround time for South Carolina compared to the Gators getting ready to take on the fourth-ranked team in the country. Big block at the net. Kennedy Muff, the setter, is there. And she is pumped up paired with Anna Dixon, who moved to the middle this year, but that was a solid, sweet block. Great footwork out to the pin to put a double block up, and that was a solo for Kennedy Muff. Point for the Gamecocks as they side out here, early going set one of the best of five in Columbia, where South Carolina has knocked off Florida the last two times these teams have met in this building, including last year. A little over a year ago, September 25th, Florida was up two sets to one. South Carolina won set four, and then they won set five convincingly, 15-7. We go back and forth here in set one in the rematch in Columbia, and a point for Florida. And a Dixon after the kill, back to serve for the Gators. That misses the mark, and it's a point for Florida. Florida running the 5-1 with Muff, their only setter right now on the roster as Dixon goes back to serve. South Carolina will run a 6-2. So you see a lot of coming and going on that side of the net. 
That one goes long, an attack error for South Carolina. Really, Tom Mendoza told you about wanting to hit some offensive targets for South Carolina, and they need to be more efficient in the attack. And usually, historically speaking, Nicole, trying to find offensive efficiency against Florida, which is a perennially great defensive team, is a hard task. Well, and that's what he mentioned on our call the other day is, I want my players to be aggressive to attack the block. So that means going for high hands, swiping it off, and if you don't have that perfect set, soft touch into the block and recover it so you have another opportunity to try to put the ball away. Oh, headsy play there for the Gators. We've seen and a Kennedy couple of Muff. heads up plays from Muff so far. That's right, and I've noticed since she's taken over here that she's getting more confidence, more offensive chances and opportunities. Which will help Love the grad transfer from Flagler College in Division Two. She was a standout all-conference selection year after year, four-year starter. On the swing, it's McCutcheon with the kill for South Carolina. McCutcheon, one of the hitters. They have three outsides that they've been working with so far. Got the call today to step in. She's got a great arm finding the open spot right down into position one. Here's one of the centers for South Carolina. It's Claire Wilson, the junior from Nashville, on the serve. They look to the outside, dug out by South Carolina. Good defense, better defense from Florida. The block kill for the Gators. Well, the Gators are getting themselves into good positioning in front of the hitters, pressing those hands over the block and really sealing well. And again, South Carolina is going to have to make some adjustments. A couple huge blocks here for the Gators. They're going to have to attack the block and try to use it. High hand, swipe it off. Nady Okamore averaging better than a block a set. Gators as a team, third in the SEC at two and a half blocks per set. South Carolina gets the block right here. Kayoon Fletcher on the right side. Well, they're going to show they can do it too. And that is why, as you mentioned, they are second in blocks in the SEC, but they have really focused and been very proud of their defensive efforts from the past year and carrying it on to this year as well. Now Carolina historically has been very good with the block as well. As Nicole mentioned, second in the SEC. Muff. Off balance attack for Florida. Set back for Fletcher. That's long. Crowd's into it early in Columbia. Point South Carolina. Well, they are. The crowd is on fire. And that's one thing that Florida's head coach, Mary Weiss, said, look, they this is a tough place to play. They've got awesome fans. They're loud. It's a fun environment. But Florida has had a little trouble the last couple visits here. Point for South Carolina. Double contact for Florida, and the Gamecocks back in front here in set one. They have drawn well through the years in Columbia. They had over 3,200 for the Clemson showdown in August, second most ever at Carolina Volleyball Center, averaging better than 2,200 fans a game this season. Mary Wise knows all about taking on South Carolina throughout her 33 years, and they have had the better of it, although the Gamecocks knocking off Florida in each of the last two meetings in Columbia. Florida hoping to change that tonight. Kennedy Martin off to a good start. Four kills already for Florida. Answer back by Anadi. That's her third kill on as many swings in the first set. Again, I am loving South Carolina getting Naughty in the game, getting that offensive going and keeping Florida guessing on their block, creating some one-on-one -on -one situations. Carter with the serve. It's a good one. Overpass. South Carolina up by two here in set one. And South Carolina attacking from the service line as well. So not only at the front row attack, but all parts of the game. He wants them to come out strong and aggressive. And you have to when you're playing a team like Florida. Off hands, and that's going to be another kill for Kennedy Martin. We mentioned averaging just under four kills a set. She's got five kills already here in set one. Seems like the last day they've got that connection going well. Good rhythm on the back set.
Carter on serve receive. Chance here for Florida to tie things up. That one was down. Good effort by Carter to try to get it, but it made contact with the court. And Florida's got back-to-back -back points to tie it at 12. Well, Florida's outside hitters have really also stepped into great roles. They're seniors, they have good leadership, and they've also been carrying some of this offensive load along with Martin. White side's blocked. Right side's been good for South Carolina so far. You talked about it right at the top of our show. That's Fletcher who gets the point to put South Carolina back in front. Great dig started off, but Keon Fletcher coming in, and you can see open hand and just really aggressive tip against the block. And that's exactly what Coach Mendoza is looking for today. Tight at the nets. Florida ties it up. Already our fifth tie of this first set, even at 13. Strong pat overpass there. Kennedy Muff reading it early and getting the second touch on that ball. When you're going up to joust, you want to be the second press to try to win that point. Emily Canan ready to serve for the Gators. Florida 10 and 2 on the season, 2 and 1 in the SEC, and that's going to be service error number three for Florida. Riley Whitesides, co-captain for the South Carolina team, ready to serve. Back set for Martin. And double contact, that's going to be a point for the Gators. It's tied at 14, well, tied again. In that attack right there from Martin, from the back row, nice tempo, faster set, and that's just what's making her elite. And a Dixon. Carter chases it down. From the left side, Sophia Victoria with the swing and the kill. That's her first of the match. That will get us to our media timeout. Tight right from the start. Set one in Columbia. Anna Dixon, the Mizzou grad transfer, building up a little momentum from the service line. Three nothing run right now for the Gators. Good save. That was on the other side of the antenna perhaps. Point South Carolina. Nice effort by Florida, but as you mentioned, has to go inside in between those two antennas to stay in play. Hannah Bissler, Miami transfer from Ohio, checks in. Good job by the setter, Kennedy Muff. How challenging is it when you go from an All-American setter and Alexis Stuckey, who just had, as we saw last year as a freshman and beginning of this year as a sophomore, eyes in the back of her head, side of her head, everywhere. She knew where her teammates were, but now there's this adjustment to this new setter it's a challenge for her just to get to know and trust where everybody's going to be on the court. Right now, it's Florida rolling. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's that connection that you really have to practice, and you get so many reps when these teams have preseason. And as I mentioned earlier, for example, Kennedy Martin only was paired with Stucky because she was a freshman coming in and really wanted her to feel confident and have a smooth connection with Alexis Stuckey. And Unfortunately for Florida, goes down with an injury and not only the setting. Muffin, there hasn't been a ton of practice time in the gym to get ready and get her up to speed and on the same page as her hitters. Well, after this match tonight, they've had several matches in a row with not a lot of practice. They have a little bit of break, some chances to get on the court and practice. But from what we've seen right now with Kennedy Martin, six attacks already. Seems that their connection is smoothing out. 5-1 run right now for Florida, but it ends with South Carolina getting the point off the contact. Much needed point there for South Carolina after Tom Mendoza used the first of two timeouts available in this first set. Claire Wilson will head back to serve. Muff. Dug out. Saved by the Libro Carter. 
McKissick, the Libro, answers back. Great save by Muff. McCutcheon has to send it over. Setting it for Martin. Another save by McCutcheon. McKissick with the dig. Victoria ends the point, and what a great point it was. And that was a long rally, both sides of the net going after the ball, giving each other. South Carolina had a few opportunities there, which I like the soft tip into the block, but in the end, Sophia Victoria is doing a really nice job this year, just putting the ball away, even when she's not getting that perfect set. Out of system. Oh, good serve there. Really jumped up in the service even a point for the Gators. Trinity well, Adams. Nice. Timeout, South Carolina. <laughs> Having a very good first set with those six kills. Six different Gators have at least one kill. South Carolina has kills from three players, Fletcher, McCutcheon, and Adi. And Adams heating up from the service line. Well, I'd like to comment real quick on the six different players with a kill. That just says Kennedy Muff has really been working on that balance attack, and tonight it's off to a great start. Two aces for Adams, 18 on the season, but now a service error and a side out for South Carolina. Correction, service error number four for the Gators, none for South Carolina. Oh, good quick point there from the middle. That is the senior, Okamore. Look at that approach, strong to the net, finding her perfectly for that shoot set to the middle. That's 11 assists here in set one for Kennedy Muff. Came in averaging seven and a half assists per set. So this is a very good set for her. And a point from the right side again for South Carolina. Fletcher leading the way here in set one for the Gamecocks. She's got five kills. And Fletcher coming in hard on that approach, and that's the key when you're going to want to tip, came in and didn't give anything away. Muff. Now awkward pass there and an opportunity for Fletcher. And the kill from the left side from Riley Whitesides. This was a nice coverage by South Carolina, which sets them up for another opportunity to try to put the ball away against Florida. And when you have a, large, a big block like Florida, you've got to cover that ball and be ready to give yourself a second chance. Score is 22-19. Make it 23-19. Again, kill for Martin and zero errors still in this first set. Martin back to serve. Blocked back and it's set point for the Gators. Dropped in, South Carolina tried to get there with the pancake save, could not. And that will do it for set number one. Florida strong in set one on the road. They hit 577 in set one and win it. Great qualities and someone you want to be out setting on your side. I mean, think of the challenge. Stuckey goes down with the injury against number one Wisconsin in front of the biggest crowd in O-Dome history in Gainesville. Kennedy's from Wisconsin, so you're taking on the Badgers, thrown into the deepest end of the pool, and now you've just been trying to kind of tread water for a little bit, but I think she looks like a pretty strong swimmer if I'm just going to stretch this metaphor out to the point of breaking. But excellent first set with the 13 assists and the team hitting 577.
First point, set two, goes to South Carolina. Gamecocks had 192 in set number one. Remember, it was tight at our media timeout. Tight for a couple of points after that. We had a lot of ties in that first set, but a 192 hitting team on the season, a 192 hitting team in the first set. Some of the numbers that Tom Mendoza may be looking at right now is his team even at one here in set two. Good rip for the point. Well, that was a nice rip again from the outside pin. Riley Whiteside is adding she got herself on the court because of her excellent ball control, but this hit right here is going to keep her on there for the offensive weapon. Blocked out of play, points for the Gators. A.C. Fitzpatrick. Go ahead, Nicole. Well, the serving from Florida, they've come out strong from the service line. They do have a few errors, as you've mentioned, but that's going to be expected when you're coming out and trying to put the pressure on. I, South Carolina, I think, could is playing it a little bit safe from the end line and needs to bring a little more heat if they want to disrupt Florida's offense. No disrupting or knocking Anna Dixon off the mark. She gets the block. Four blocks for the Gators, one for South Carolina so far. And that's going to be a violation and a point for Florida. And the Gators on a bit of a run here, up 4-2, set two. I saw in the warm-up, the Florida Gators had a elastic from antenna to antenna and were trying to serve in between the top of the net and that elastic for that floater, strong float serve that Kennedy Martin is doing right now. Attack air for South Carolina. And another point for Florida, 4 nothing run for the Gators as Martin continues to add to the run with this serve. Martin with the dig. I think that caught the rafters. Remember, a little bit of a low ceiling at Carolina Volleyball Center. I think it helped Florida keep it in play, but it only extended the point for the time being. And the point for the Gamecocks. That's right, you got to be on your toes with a low ceiling in case it hits the, the top of it. You might be ready for one, but then you got to adjust if it pings another way, and Florida made a good adjustment, but yeah, South just, Carolina didn't look capitalizing. Like, yeah, it didn't look like Florida was ready to go over the bench, but then they slammed on the brakes a little bit. Ooh, all gas, no brakes on that back row attack for the Gators. Martin. Well, Kennedy Muff is finding Kennedy Martin very well tonight. That is a nice tempo from the back row and really coming in and hitting that ball wherever she wants right now. Florida on the season hitting at 257. They hit 250 in the five setter against the Aggies. They're hitting 586 for the match this afternoon. And the block. Block number five for the Gators. Well, they're putting a solid block, and Anna Dixon coming from the middle. Good eye work, footwork to seal that with Sophia Victoria. And Anna Dixon not used to being in the middle since seventh grade, so really making a nice adjustment. Good attack there for South Carolina. McCutcheon with the kill. And as you mentioned at the top of the show, Eric McCutcheon has been in and out of the lineup, but tonight getting the call, and she's really stepping it up here. For South Carolina tonight, four kills. Florida gets the point right back. Well, and that's something Florida can do with Anna Dixon normally playing on the opposite. This year moved to the middle blocker, so they're doing that nice tempo back set to her that Kennedy Martin, is, we've seen, do tonight. So they have options when she's in the front row. Victoria. Good diving play and a save by Floyd. On the slide, a little bit of change of pace. South Carolina gets the point. 
Those long rallies, you really need patience. Get your feet to the ball as an attacker. Get your arm high. Put yourself in a good position. And McCutcheon right here, getting that little back set, got off the net well to give some space. So she was able to get to that set. Seemed like a bit of a scramble for both teams, and South Carolina will take the point. McCutcheon back to serve for Carolina. Down by two. Down a set in the best of five. McKissick to Victoria, sent back. Rubric in Paris at the net for South Carolina. Well, that sounded like a thump. That was a huge block. Sophia Victoria swinging with all she's got, and that is just going straight down. That is not going to be able to be covered. Gators there ready for the block. That one misses the mark. Off the hands of Paris, point for Florida. Mary Wise's Tough team got there. off to an 8 0 start, then the loss to Wisconsin. As I mentioned, a program record 10,323 at that match. Won the first two sets. Stuckey injured in set two. To the middle, the kill by Okamore, Point Florida. Kennedy Muff setting those outsides in the beginning and then in the rally when it's a bit of a scramble, finding her middle, giving her a good opportunity to score again one on one, and that's what you want. See the season summary for the Gators as they play conference game number three here this afternoon. And I do believe that Tom Mendoza has brought out the challenge card. And perhaps they're seeing if the Gators were in the nets. For the moment, Florida's on top 10-7. And Mendoza in his sixth year at South Carolina taking the opportunity to huddle the team up, try to settle things down a little bit here. But they are at the monitor and reviewing that last play. Couple things he mentioned today against Florida is he said we've had courage, I mean, excuse me, success against them the last two matches here at home because we came out swinging fearlessly against their block. Let's take a look and see if we can see any net. Is Florida in the nets? Yeah, it would have been before this moment. It's not crossing the line or anything. It would have been earlier in the point, perhaps. Yeah, this could be be telling here any contact here on the net looks like maybe he's maybe thinking the middle hit the bottom as she's going up mm. to block that's all i could see possibly as you know nicole if you start using phrases like looks like maybe that's not enough to <laughs> not, not enough to change it nope kind of sort of looks like maybe not going to cut it. I was it. thinking lately I might need to look into some reading glasses, so I'll have to get on that. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just, when you throw out those terms, I'm just. Well, the only possible net I could see was when she came up, but at the top of the net, it did not look like there was anyone really close to it, so. Well, Muff, Luckily, the we don't have heading to decide. over. Referee signaled to Florida, so. Yeah, call stands. So one challenge remaining for South Carolina. Through the fourth set, 
if we get to a fifth set, there will be an additional challenge. And if South Carolina makes a challenge after this one and it fails, they will have none remaining. But if it's a successful challenge, they'll keep the challenge. Oh, big hammer from the right side from who else? Kennedy Martin. Kennedy Martin, loving that angle. I think tonight we've seen mostly angle, but you know what? If South Carolina is not going to adjust their block, then you got to keep going for it. But right now, South Carolina, they should consider adjusting that, taking some of her angle away because she's crushing everything. Nine kills on 15 swings, no errors. Canaan got there for the save for the Gators. Off hands and a diving attempt to try to say it, save it by Canaan, but got a piece of it. Couldn't advance it. Point for South Carolina. When you talk about adjustments, what adjustments specifically would you be looking for to try to at least take Kennedy Martin out of the rhythm she's in right now, Nicole? Well, right now, South Carolina, she, she, Kennedy Martin is attacking every ball angle right now. So if I'm South Carolina, an adjustment with my block, moving in, trying to get that right hand over, pressing and cutting it off, and try to hit her, try to make Martin hit the line a little bit, see what she can do. That one hits the line, point South Carolina. A good example right there. White side's going up strong and attacking the open spot, getting up nice, fast tempo to the outside. And that's one thing head coach Mary Weiss said, Kennedy Martin is working on that right side block in the faster tempo that you see at this level. That one rolls down the tape. There will be kills with more velocity, kills that are better placed, <laughs> but the result will look exactly the same on the score sheet. It's a point for Victoria after it rolls down the tape. That's right. These are not necessarily the ones you practice every day in practice, but <laughs> happy when they go down, that's for sure. Sophia's like, oh, I know how to walk that tightrope. I planned it that way. <laughs> That's a point on the Paris. swing for Paris. Yep. And Paris is a freshman coming in, an athlete that Coach Mendoza is very excited about, has tremendous upside, and just each match she's playing, he can really see a difference of her comfort level, feeling better out there on the court, making really good progress. Try it again to Paris. Florida makes the adjustment, has the answer defensively with the block. Hard to beat a double block out there, and Florida is doing a nice job getting both players to those pins tonight. Okamore, three kills on five swings. For the match so far, the Gators have three attack errors, Nicole, 11 for South Carolina. Well, block back, another thing. point for the Gators. Back-to-back -back blocks, and that's going to get something going. And a good call to call a timeout because you do not want to have Florida go on a run. And I think in set one, that's what happened. Battle seven for Florida, two for South Carolina. So I'd like to see them getting a double block up more, making some adjustments on Kennedy Martin, make her hit line a little bit, try to dig it, see what she can do. And they also need to handle that first contact a lot better. McKissick will serve again after the ace. Florida adds to the run. Right now, just too many errors for South Carolina. And these are the runs that when you're playing a team like Florida, it's very dangerous. 4 nothing run right now. And it ends with the service error. But well, that's one thing. You see Florida is aggressive with the serve. They had eight aces against the Aggies, but they also had 17 service errors in that five-setter. Today, they've got three aces, five service errors, no aces for South Carolina. One service error, make it two service errors for South Carolina. It's perhaps, as you mentioned before, trying to find a little bit more from the service line to try to make a difference and here. And that always, it doesn't always mean you're just hitting the ball as hard as you can, but throw in a short serve. Let's see what Florida can do when they get that. 
but just about disrupting the offense and taking the other team out of their rhythm. South Carolina gets the point. Gamecocks within five here in set two. There's the block. That's what you're just talking about. Go. South Carolina needs to find that piece of their game to get back in this match against Florida. Just down by four now in set two. Lauren McCutcheon did a nice setup on that left hand, turning into the court, and that's what kept that block in. McCutcheon again. Finding the spot, getting the kill, AC Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick didn't even play in last year's loss against South Carolina, couldn't get off the court. Now it's hard to keep her off the court, although she'll side out right now. Senior from Ocala, Florida, in her second season with the Gators after playing at Penn State. Had 15 kills against AM last match. 22 in that five-set win against Florida State. She's had a really good season for the Gators. McCutcheon to really with the kill. And again, I like to see South Carolina using those outside hitters. I know Coach said they want to rely on the opposites as their go-tos, but I think when you've got weapons on both pins, it really will keep Florida maybe one step and having to hold a little bit longer on that block to try to get your hitters some one-on-one -on -one action. Floyd with the serve. Florida with the attack and the kill. Gators back on top by five after the Anna Dixon kill. Good serve by Dixon. Chance here for the Gators to add to their lead. Victoria does so. One thing about Anna Dixon, not only stepping in plain middle, doing whatever it takes to help this Florida Gator team, but Having another experienced leader on the court coming in, she's one of those players, Coach Mary Wise said that, I just can't say enough good things about her. She makes a mistake, she shakes it off, she moves on to the next. Number two, down a set in Columbia. Gators hitting 304 in this set. McCutcheon's been a go-to for South Carolina, and she delivers again. That's her seventh kill of the match. Well, here's what I like. She hasn't played the last couple, and now here she is off the bench getting the start tonight and really coming in and making a difference. Hitting above 300. She is responsible for their last three points, by the way, Nicole. A couple of kills and a block. She's got the hot hand. That's going to drop in. So maybe South Carolina. Finding a little magic here in the second set. Riley Whitesides gets the point to bring the Gamecocks within four. That was a good last minute decision on that attack going soft speed into the block. Tied at the net with Muff there. Whitesides, another point for South Carolina. Here come the Gamecocks. So here's another thing South Carolina can do right now. Kennedy Muff is a little bit of a smaller setter than Alexis Stuckey, so expect, I would expect to see them setting white sides a lot right now in that pin, trying to hit over line and taking advantage of the smaller block. Florida takes a timeout. They're to do on that early run from Florida. McCutcheon, as Nicole mentioned, the hot hand continues to serve. Off the deflection, a chance here for South Carolina to add to their run. Victoria well off the net, but got a lot on it. And it's going to be a point for Florida. Sophia Victoria with the quality kill. Will Victoria getting that out of system set waits for the set before she goes in for the attack. And she has really done a nice job of that since for this Florida team. She's had 
13 kills or more in each of the last three matches. So she's had a hot hand. That one's going to float long. And it's another point for the Gators, and they're three points away from going up two sets to none. Kennedy Muff ready to serve. It's a good serve. And the block. Point Gators. Wow, that was a sweet at the point block. of attack. That was a beautiful block up high over the net. Those hands, I mean, that ball went straight down. Eight blocks now for Florida. Well, the block's been really good. Mary Wise took that time out when it was 20 to 17, and they have been recommitted at the net defensively to turn things around. These back-to-back -back blocks are not just nice, easy blocks. These are straight down blocks for Florida. A good call to have the timeout, take a breath, come back out on the court. It was a 4-0 run to bring up a set point. Give that point to South Carolina. Down by six, set point number two for the Gators. Hannah Bissler needs to go on an epic service run here to bring South Carolina back. Martin on the miss hits. Back to back points yep. for South Carolina. Not something we've seen yet this match, but an uncharacteristic miss. Just getting, didn't get a good hand on that ball and floated quite wide. Bissler gets another one in. Set point number three for the Gators. Off hands out of play, and Florida takes the set 25 19. South Carolina had four kills in the block. Wiped the slate clean for set number three, and it's a good start for Anadi in the middle for South Carolina on the kill. We saw set number one, Anadi get a lot of action and then has been a little bit quiet in set number two. So let's see if they can get her back in this third set. Dropped in beautifully. The Gators answer back with a point of their own. Well, A.C. Fitzpatrick, that's one thing Coach Mary Wise said, is she has all the shots in her toolbox, and she puts them on display every time she's out there on the court. Hard driven, that nice shot to the corner, brings a lot of experience. South Carolina answers right back with a point. Lakeem Fletcher doing a nice job on the right side, and that's again what Coach Mendoza said. Those are our go-to players. Not getting a lot of help right now from Paris Campbell, struggling a little bit with her numbers, but Kuhn and Lauren McCutcheon are on fire for South Carolina. Martin, well done by Carter to dig it out. Martin, block back. Point South Carolina. Another thing Tom Mendoza talked about was you cannot let Florida control the net. Now, Florida is very good at controlling the net, but down the stretch in set two, Nicole, it seemed like they controlled the net. Can Carolina wrestle back control of the net here in set three? Well, they're going to need to, and we know that they can because you don't get to number two in the SEC with blocking if you're not able to do it. So, again, I think some blocking adjustments for South Carolina on the floor to hitters, keeping them guessing and not leaving the same spots open. Kennedy Martin. McCutcheon, she's been good, hasn't she? Gets another she kill. And she's put her range on display as well. If it's not angle, soft shot, she can crush that one line as we just saw attacking the right back. Dixon tried to drop it in. Whitesides gets it over. Dixon with the kill. You saw Dixon initiate it from the opposite attack, higher, a little higher tempo than that last slide we saw. 
used to being a right side attacker, but now playing middle and a nice connection on that slide, really elevating. Emily Canan will serve for the Gators. Down by one in set three. Good serve, overpass, easy point for Dixon. And here's what we've seen, set one, set two. The beginning of these sets are neck and neck, and then Florida will get the gas on, get a little bit of a run going. South Carolina will come back. Let's see if South Carolina can turn this right around. It's a Dixon run right now, three straight points, and now an ace from Canaan caught the tape, dropped in, and the Gators on a 3-0 run. Everybody all right over there? Looked like the celebration might have gotten just a little over the edge, but I think everybody's okay. Canaan's focused. That one drops in. Kill for South Carolina. Point for the Gamecocks. Freshman Campbell Paris, six foot five, Barrington, Illinois. Averaging two kills a set. Been trying to find her rhythm in this match against this good size for Florida. Three kills for Paris. The setter looks for the point. The point continues. Great save. Whiteside's got it from row one, but in the end, it's a point for the Gators. Like to see the hustle from both sides, but again, Sophia Victoria coming up big to get this point. Good tempo to the outside and just comes in, turns her body away, thumb down. South Carolina needs to get it over. Contact, and that drops in. That works out well for the Gamecocks. Campbell Paris getting a couple kills. And here's, you know, Coach Mendoza said, look, she's a freshman. She's coming in. There's adjustments that you need to make. But one thing I really liked what he said is, some days you're taking a step forward. Other times you feel like you're going backwards. But she's learning so much. They're trying to get her into this level of the SEC. So you have to remember that there will be steps forward, steps back. and. That's part of growing. They were ready for Martin on the back row attack. And Florida couldn't stop white sides on the left side attack. South Carolina punching back here in set number three. Good tempo out and nice springy attack from white sides. Nice and on top of that ball attacking the seam of the Florida block. That's her seventh kill of the match. Victoria. Victoria again. How about the third time? That's the charm. Point for Florida. Well, that's the high level Florida right there to cover those block touches. They were soft touches over the net, which Florida could cover. And on that last South Carolina block, just not pressed over enough in that ball rolling down in between you and the net. White sides. That one's going to be off the mark, and it's a point for the Gators. Well, before that error, South Carolina hitting 385 in this set. They need to be very clean here going forward. A little too aggressive for Florida on the serve. It's a gift for South Carolina. A point for the Gamecocks to tie it at eight. Well, it looked like Florida trying to attack McCutcheon there on the outside, trying to make her pass and hit all in one play. Another gift for South Carolina on the overpass this time, and the Gamecocks are on top by one here in the third. And here we go. Seems like South Carolina bringing a little bit more from the service line, and that's exactly what you can create when you bring some tough serving. That time it doesn't work out. Service error number three for the Gamecocks. 
Well, Tom Mendoza, when he was talking about the game keys today, and we asked what worked last year against Florida, and he pointed out they pressured their serve receive. They served aggressively. That's something they need to do again. Florida struggling with their serve right now, so a point for South Carolina. You just feel like the door is open here a little bit for South Carolina. Florida had built up a little momentum. Now South Carolina's in this set. Can they build up a run and stretch out a little bit of a lead here against the fourth-ranked team in the country? Can't throw points away, though, against the fourth-ranked team of the country. That's right. We're going back-to-back -back here with the service errors. I think if South Carolina has shown a few tough serves, they've gotten Florida into trouble. McKissick had a four ace match against Georgia. Wow, that's good tight offense right there for South Carolina. Fletcher with the kill on the right side. She's got a team high nine kills now. Well, Fletcher has been very reliable in delivering this entire match so far tonight. And that one beautiful right in between. Florida not able to get two on her, and she can put it away. Another good match for the senior who had a career high 20 kills against Ole Miss last time out. Another point for the Gamecocks. So they're up we'll by two here in this set. On the block, it goes out of play. It's a point for Florida. Good adjustment, that first one just missing the line, and the second one going back and making an adjustment, tooling it off. That one was touched. It's a point for Florida. AC you know, Fitzpatrick Wise. doing it. Go ahead. Go ahead, Nicole. Well, I just like Fitzpatrick attacking the, the high block of South Carolina and that ball just flying off the court. On the slide, there's the block. Anna Dixon at the point of attack. Three nothing run to put Florida back in front with Martin on the serve. Blocked out of play, point Carolina. Well, both South Carolina has elevated their blocking, getting some more touches, and Florida still bringing the strong block. Service error for South Carolina. South Carolina getting fifth. a little momentum. Sorry, getting a little momentum on their side and then going back and getting that air. Just got to keep that ball in and, again, trust your defense and your block. Emily Canan. White sides with the kill. And I feel like, Eric, we're saying white sides a lot more this set, but she's coming in. Love that set inside. Being able to put that ball away against the tough Florida block. Off the hands into the crowd. South Carolina is in front here in set three. 15-14 Gamecocks. The media timeout in the third. Tight one here in set three, 11 ties, six lead changes. The lead right now belongs to South Carolina. They're down two sets to none in the best of five. With Hannah Bissler at the service line for Carolina out of the media timeout. White sides off speed counted. Well, White Sides is doing a really nice job. If she's not coming in with a strong attack, she is finding the court with some soft touches and not to the same spot. She is really moving this ball around well. 
And I think that is a big reason for this their lead is she's really got some momentum going this set. Nine kills for white sides. That momentum slowed by the attack by Victoria for the Gators. Anna Dixon will head back to serve for the Gators. And South Carolina was getting their personnel straight. They'll get Morgan Carter onto the floor, ready for the Dixon serve. White sides keep feeding the hot hand right now. It was McCutcheon wow. in set two. Right now it's White sides in set three for South Carolina. Well, as I mentioned, her range, she is coming in and oh my word, that is just straight down, crossing her body, finding, she's feeling that block and putting it where they're not. Three of her 10 kills coming already here in set three. Okamore found the floor, Point Florida. Muff back to the service line for the Gators. And that one's going to float long. Well, South Carolina seems to me, from what I see, playing with a little more urgency right here. Kind of the clapping, the bringing it together after they get the kill, like really believing that they're going to win this set. And right now they're playing much better than they have in the first two sets. A lot of it comes from Whitesides, who is a fiery competitor, a leader, a co-captain. She's delivering. Her teammates are adding to it as well with Anadi getting the kill. And Florida will take a timeout. South Carolina on top by three here in the third. As they took down Georgia in four sets, Akasha Anderson, who you were so impressed with, as were many people around the country impressed with last year, she struggled against Arkansas. She had just one kill Wednesday night against Arkansas. She bounced back with 17 in the four set win today against Georgia at Auburn. Well, she is an impressive player. Remember, like you said, last year as a freshman and I thought, wowzer, she is gonna be good. I mean, they had a very young team, Auburn, so it's been fun to see all of them as a team stick together and see what they can do in the years to come. Trinity Adams with the serve for Florida. Back-to-back -back points for the Gators out of the timeout. It was a service error for South Carolina. And then Adams at the service line helps Florida get a point. And quickly, South Carolina takes a timeout after back-to-back -back points scored by the Gators. Again, South Carolina needs to win this match, this set rather, to extend the match to a fourth set. On a, they're on a, I like what they're doing right now. White sides has stepped in, got some momentum going for them. So let's see if they can hold on to this. Trinity Adams, very reliable from the service line. Adams calls for it. McCutcheon, McKissick saved it. Set back on the right side, off hands point, South Carolina. Fletcher delivers again, 11 kills. South Carolina setting several different players during that rally, but Keon Fletcher again coming up big. Service error number seven for South Carolina. It's the fifth this set. Where would the Gamecocks be if they could keep it clean from the service line? We talked about it. They needed to be more aggressive, but you have to be a little cleaner than five errors if you're going to knock off the number four team of the country just in this set. Good dig by Adams. The kill. Hadn't said Kennedy Martin's name in just a little while. We'll say it now. She's in the double figures now with 10 kills. 
And I like seeing that from Kennedy Martin. We've seen a lot of angle tonight, but this one attacking what we call area six in between South Carolina, but someone's got to go for that ball. 12th tie of this set. McCutcheon. McCutcheon. Duff sets the middle. Adams tracks it down. Great save by the Libero Carter. Set back, Martin. The dig. The point continues. Martin. Point Gators. Wow. I think that was the longest rally of the night, and we were on the edge of our seats there. Eric, get out your stopwatch. <laughs> Martin <laughs> I need an hourglass for that one. An egg timer oh. would probably work just as well. Great point. And, and right is giving them an opportunity to score in transition. Five one, three nothing. The runs right now for Florida as McKissick tries to keep it going on the serve. South Carolina out of timeouts on the block. Point for the Gamecocks. Tied at 21, another tie here in this third set. And this is, I wanna see South Carolina do a nice serve, but let's keep it in the court. Every time they've been scoring right now and going back, they have a service error. They gotta keep this in the court. They do, 13th tie of this set. Big rip, South Carolina was ready for it. Florida gets the point though. Well, and as we can see, the players moving in one direction. And as we mentioned at the top of the show, this is a lower ceiling than most gyms have. Yep. Going for that ball, hits the top and redirects it. And you play on as long as the ball comes down on your side of the net. It's a dead ball on the other side. This one's rubric at the nets with the defense. Another tie here in the third set. Nice solo block for Rubrik, shutting down the back row attack of Martin. Good serve for South Carolina when they needed it. And it's an ace. Remember, they had piled up the service errors, and an ace is called. I think Mary Wise, is she going to use a timeout or a challenge here? Well, it looked like it took the refs a little second there to uh, call that ball down. You can see Coach Mendoza in the green already signaling down, down, down. Now, I don't think we're getting a challenge here. It's going to be a timeout called by Mary Wise for Florida. And South Carolina two points away from taking it to a fourth set. Just not under that. And here's what South Carolina is doing. Serving tough, which we they wanted to do from the beginning and struggled with it. But now in this third set, maybe a little bit more confidence, feeling momentum with them, getting back to the end line. And this is the result. Some excellent points for them. And by the way, definitive look on that last look on the replay. You saw it hit the floor first on the short hop to the hand. So good call by the officials and a good job not challenging by Florida as it was a point for South Carolina on the ace by McCutcheon. Each team out of timeouts. And that serve just dropping right out of it. Get a good hand on it and just caught it and drop Florida. Let's see if they take a step up or keep their position just ready for that ball to go. But again, a chance here for South Carolina to keep the gas on. It'll be McCutcheon to serve once again for South Carolina. Florida took set one, 25-19. They hit 577 in set one. They won by that same score, 25-19 in set two. South Carolina has been tight with Florida throughout set three. And they've got a chance here to get the set point, but now they just have to bump it over. Great save, McKissick. Joust at the net. 
Point South Carolina, set point Gamecocks. Kind of a wacky play there on both sides with South Carolina with some strong net play. Pancake by McKissick keeping this ball alive, but South Carolina getting it in the end. Set point, Gamecocks. That drops in. Florida still alive here in set two. You can hear AC Fitzpatrick coming down here. Let's go! They want to get this victory and move on. The South Carolinas, again, the set number three playing a different level of volleyball than we have seen in one and two. Set point number two for South Carolina. Emily Canan will serve for the Gators. But first, make sure that floor is as dry as possible. Here's Canan. McKissick has to bump it over. Chance here for South Carolina. Off hands, drops in, and the Gamecocks win set three. South Carolina hit 4.05 in that set, and they needed to to keep things going in Columbia. We're heading to set four. Delayed by a little bit more than 20 minutes because a fire alarm went off at 1.39 Eastern time less than a half an hour before first serve. They had to clear the building, including the players leaving the court as well. And after the delay, they had first serve a little after 2.20 Eastern time. So we got a late start in Columbia. And now we're going a, little, going a little longer than we first thought after those first two sets when Florida won 25-19 in each of the first two sets. South Carolina bounced back to take set three. Florida gets point one of set four. And you know, sometimes you're down 0-2 and you go and you're like, okay, we got nothing to lose now. And you, there's a little pressure that comes off. And so I think their serving game elevated. They went back there, had more confidence from the line and it really paid off. McCutcheon's had a good match. She gets the first point of the fourth for South Carolina. That's her ninth kill of the match. Morgan Carter with the serve. Carter for McCutcheon. The block for the Gators. Martin and Dixon at the net. That is a tough block to get around, especially when they're both together, sealing that one. And that's what South Carolina needs to tool, take advantage of it. Set on the left side for Fitzpatrick for the kill. Fitzpatrick does a nice job getting her feet to the ball. Not the hardest hit we've seen from her tonight, but a nice drop middle shot. She's had a nice night. She's up to now 11 kills, hitting 381. Service error for Florida. Give the point to South Carolina. Well, those first two sets, Florida was serving very tough, and South Carolina really struggled with their serve receive. Right now, off to a similar start early in the game, but they've got to get a good first touch. Sydney Floyd, who's been the other setter in the 6-2 for South Carolina, along with Claire Wilson today. Carter, good diving play to keep it alive. Again by Carter. One more time. And the block, Florida ends up winning the point. Great effort by Morgan Carter to keep that point going for South Carolina, but give the point to Florida. Florida second number four, Sophia Victoria. 
Yeah, Morgan Carter doing a nice job for South Carolina, flying all over. If she's not up, she's back at the end line getting that ball up, but Florida's block is on fire. 13 blocks just alone so far in this match. Dixon and Muff teaming up for that one. That one rolled down beautifully by South Carolina. McCutcheon adds to her total. Well, that was a good decision by McCutcheon. She gets pretty roofed in that initial one before that play, but finds an open spot and mixes it up. Back to serve now. Victoria could get a running start on that attack and got everything into it for the Florida point. 5-3 Gators. Well, she has a really wicked fast arm, so that nice, that fast tempo out to her is just working out very well. Ace for the Gators. Dixon. Another point for the Gators on top 7-3, and South Carolina will have to take an early timeout here in set number four. South Carolina had an answer in set three. We'll see if they can come up with one when we come back here in the fourth. Speeds really moving the ball around well for this Gator offense. Kara Hudson had 26 kills in the first three matches of her Florida career before an injury. Fitzpatrick has stepped in and stepped up for the Gators, who are now on top by five here in set four. The Gators doing a nice job tonight on Campbell Paris on that opposite, really giving her a lot of trouble with her block. Anna Dixon trying to fuel the 4 nothing run. Ended by a big swing on the left side from Riley Whitesides, point South Carolina. Does it feel to you at all, Nicole, that after that hard fought third set and South Carolina grinds it out, they win 25-23? I think it's natural to have a little letdown, but you can sense, that, oh wow, we, we got one against Florida and the Gators were ready to pounce here early in the fourth set, it felt like. Yeah, I think they had the momentum, that they were up their energy and they came out in this fourth set a little bit flat. So they've got to get that back and bring it or you know, Florida has been going on some runs in set one and two. South Carolina fixed it in the third, but right now it seems like they're back there. I'm up with the serve. McKissick. And a point for the Gators. Well, and I think a big reason for that set four victory for South Carolina is Riley Whitesides. You can see if you keep an eye on her during the play. She's clapping, trying to get her team going. Get me the ball. 8-2 run now for the Gators. Another point for Florida. And another timeout called by South Carolina. 11-4 Florida. Martin with 12 kills, Fitzpatrick with 11, Victoria with 10, Florida now with six service aces after the Kennedy Muff eight. Gonna need to make if they if that's what they're looking for. But tonight, Kennedy Muff is doing a really nice job distributing the ball to so many different hitters. Seems like the connections are just getting better and better each match. Good serve by Muff. Florida, chance to add to their lead, and they will. Victoria gets another kill, that's 11. And as I mentioned, that is a fast arm. You can see that set is flying out to her. She's back and just whipping it down. Four nothing run for Florida. Make it five nothing. Ace for Kennedy Muff. That is her second ace to go along with her 39 assists tonight. It is all Gators here in the fourth. White sides missed the mark. Point Florida. 
Another fast swing by Whitesides, but South Carolina just struggling right now. Florida is bringing some nice serves, getting them out of their rhythm. It's like they won that third set, and now they're just kind of back to, huh, what do we do? They well, did do it. They need to bring it back. Yeah, Nicole, to your point, after hitting 4.05 in the third set, there's a service error for Muff, so the run ends. It was a 6 nothing run for Florida. South Carolina's hitting negative here in this set. Negative 133. So that's the big difference right there. From 4.05, you're going to drop down that much, and as a result, you're going to be down by nine. Claire Wilson with the serve. Wilson with the set. Fletcher with the kill. Fletcher attacking the line. We've seen her all over the court tonight, hitting every angle, but really finding that spot. When they're giving her something on the block, she is really attacking it and having a lot of success. You can see the numbers by set in the hitting, how good South Carolina was in the third, and it's been a struggle here, and now a service error for South Carolina. We'll give a point to Florida. That's the ninth for the Gamecocks here today. And yeah, Florida, number 14 in the country. They're not going to give you a lot of points, a lot of runs. So you've got to try to stay neck and neck, switching off points. But South Carolina right now not helping that situation. Good recovery by Anadi to be ready at the net to push that right back down against the Gators. Give South Carolina the point. Martin finds the mark. Well, that was a sweet set from Muff. She's running towards the, the left side, outside to hit her pin, but really throwing that set back to Martin with a beautiful tempo. McKissick to serve with Florida on top by nine here in the fourth. Off hands, that's another kill for Fletcher. That is 13 for her today. Nicole mentioned earlier that Fletcher had an ankle injury. It happened in the first set of the season, so she missed time early in the season. And Tom Mendoza is saying, you know, she's just really now finding her stride. That showed against Ole Miss. She had 20 kills, hit 4-10 in that match. She's leading the team in kills again here today. I'd say that, that one is in. pretty good. Yes. Very wise, this team continues to have an answer. That one was touched, so it's a point for South Carolina. South Carolina handled a nice side out, good pass. Again, it's they have good offensive weapons when they're passing the ball well, but so far this set, they've really struggled since the beginning. Back row attack and a kill, point Florida. Well, and that's the thing Florida brings. They've got three attackers right now in the front row who can put the ball away. And then you've got Kennedy Martin as your weapon in the back row with a nice tempo set. Tough to beat. Maddie Gravely will come in for Florida. Well, and that's something Florida has been doing with Kennedy Muff. They'll sub her out, put in Gravely to have a little bit of a bigger block there against their opponents. And there you see that front line for Florida. Six points away from winning this match up by 10 in the fourth. That one's going to sail long. Three point for South Carolina on the service error. Riley Whitesides will head back to serve for South Carolina. South Carolina also gets some time off after all these games on the road and finally returning home here for the first time since September 3rd. Their next match will host 
Auburn on Sunday. Then they're hosting Georgia on October 11th. Set for Whitesides. Whitesides again. Whitesides again. This time it drops in for South Carolina. I think the key for South Carolina right now is to keep Whitesides involved on every play. She has the fire. She's putting the ball away when she gets the chance and really leading this team just on the court with her energy and her play. Victoria. Free ball here for South Carolina, trying to chip away in the fourth. They go to white sides for another point. Well, and she is delivering right now. So, hey, in any chance you can, I say get her the ball and see what she can do. Right now coming off the court for a timeout. Florida will and take the timeout. McCutcheon back to serve for South Carolina out of the Florida timeouts. McCutcheon's had a really good match here today. Turning to the lineup for South Carolina. Back row attack. Blocked. South Carolina not done yet. Ellie Ruprick at the net. Ruprick, she did it earlier. We saw it. Martin attacking from the back row. Solo block for her. Nice lineup and really putting it down. Throws those hands in the air and wants to get something going for her team. Locked out of play, another point for South Carolina. Five nothing run now for the Gamecocks. Don't count them out is what they're showing us right now. Victoria, point for the Gators. And that was a veteran attack, just making the best with what she had. Caught at the net, couldn't get off to but do her have her full approach, but just swiping that right off the block of Campbell Paris. Dixon with a service error point for South Carolina. Thirteen errors in this match for Florida. Dixon will check out. South Carolina ready to serve. And a Bissler will come on to serve for South Carolina. On the slide. South Carolina great hustle. Can they get it over? They can. Muff sets it back for Victoria. Battle at the net, won by South Carolina. Point for the Gamecocks, down by four here in the fourth. They are trying to swing this momentum back on their side, and right now they're, I mean, again, their energy just feels different than the beginning of this fourth set. Remember, the score was 19 to nine, but now a 6-1 scoring run by South Carolina, and Victoria will slow that roll just a little bit with that shot. Yeah, that's a pretty sweet shot she just did, crushing that one. Angle almost inside the 10-foot line. Kennedy Muff with the serve. Whitesides. 15 kills now for Riley Whitesides. Well, she is definitely a spark plug for this South Carolina team and getting things going. Coach said she has incredible ball control, passes so well, so that's what initially got her into the starting position. But let's just think about these kills she's had tonight. She is doing an excellent job here. Well, for she South loves. Carolina. Yeah, she loves playing Florida too, as Martin gets one back for Whitesides. 
She had a season-high 16 kills last year against Florida. Her career-high 20 kills against Florida as a freshman, but then Martin comes back as a freshman for Florida to get a big kill for the Gators. Twenty two seventeen set four white sides bring South Carolina within four again game Cox need stops now. Well white sides when she's in the front row has been terminal for South Carolina now heading back to the service line and hopefully she can bring some points for her team there as well. Five kills this set for white sides and the serve goes long point Florida two points away from winning the match. Smirk tells the story after doing so much here in this set. A mistake there puts Florida back on top by five. Here's McKissick. Fletcher. Yeah, between Fletcher and Whitesides, they are really carrying this load here for South Carolina. Lauren McCutcheon not far behind as well. South Carolina gets a step closer. Now down by three. Do they have enough time here in the fourth set? Well, those serves are the ones that drive you nuts if you're trying to pass it, but you love them if you're serving that, that ace. Morgan Carter, that goes long, and it is now match point for the Gators. Kennedy Martin serving for the match. Bumped over by Carter. Fitzpatrick with the kill, and Florida gets the win in Columbia. And I liked today the fight we saw from South Carolina in set number three, but it just wasn't enough to beat this very tough Florida Gator team. Florida brought it from the service line. Their attack was balanced. Kennedy Muff came in here, ran it with confidence, and I love to see the display and the range from all of these different Gator hitters today. They win it in four. They're now three and one in the SEC. For Nicole Brenna and our crew, I'm Eric Freed. That's all in Columbia. Let's get you to College Station. Krista Blunk, Shelby Coppage. Girani hamar ya kya se, asua girai se dilavaro.
करा सहारे रह के करा से तू बोलिया बोल गई अशोक अकेला के कहलू साथ न छोड़ा गे के करा सहारे रह के करा से तू बोलिया बोल गई अशोक अकेला के कहलू साथ न छोड़ रंग सोली लागे हमर यकिया से